here with the newest Tennessee volunteer, Hudson Wolf. Hudson, you picked Tennessee. What made Tennessee the right pick after a, a recruitment that saw Alabama, Ole Miss, Ohio State, every big name school you can think of come after you? Uh, yeah, um, it's been a crazy couple years. Um, starting back, I don't know, two years ago, you know, received my first offer. Um, going through the whole the whole process has been there's been ups and downs to it. Um, but you know, when it comes down to it, I've decided to stay home and you know play for play for the in state. When you look back at your recruitment, was there a point in time where Tennessee kind of ascended? It, it seemed like you know Tennessee was kind of laying in that, not even necessarily in the in the in the you know two spot. They were like three four there for a minute, and all of a sudden this spring they started to climb. How big was that visit? Much like Caden Salter got that visit in right before. Mm -hmm. COVID took everybody off the road. You were there that same exact day. How big was that visit? Uh, it was huge. Um, getting in front of Coach Pruitt, really, you know, interacting with him. Um, it was really one of the first times they've, you know, seen me, I feel like, as a priority and made me a priority then. And, you know, it carried on throughout, you know, me making a commitment. Coach Osevet, mm -hmm. he rolls into that tight end uh, job. What did you like about him? What what made him, uh, you know, someone that you really wanted to play for? You know, uh, when we when I did go on that visit, um, got to see him, you know, on the field coaching, and I think he's just a great, fiery guy. You know, wants to be in it, wants to see his players succeed. You know, even more than he wants to succeed himself. Um, just a guy that I feel like you know has got my back, and I want to have his, and I feel like I can play for him. Let's take everybody through your game. What do you feel like you do well? And then what are areas that you feel like you can still improve on? Um, doing well, I feel like, you know, uh, I'm able to get downfield, uh, you know, on long balls. I'm able to, you know, break down and get out on short routes. I'm able to block the C area, um, kind of the three down tight end, you know, that – you never know really what, um, from a defense perspective, what we're going to do when I'm on the field. Um, getting better, uh, you know, there's – you can improve on everything, you know, size, speed, strength, um, you know, just getting the college, uh, you know, workout plan, you know, getting through that will help tremendously. Let's look forward to the high school football season, and everybody hopes there's a season. Yeah. What? How good can Hardin County be? Obviously – They've got you, but they've got also a really good player in Caden Pope, a 2022 that Tennessee's offered and then is heavily after. How good can this Hardin County team be? We're looking at having the same schedule we did last year. Ended up going in, um, only losing one regular season game and we ended the playoffs. Um, I 100% believe we can go undefeated until we get beat in the playoffs, whether we win it all or, you know, we get beat first round. I believe we will be undefeated going in. And, you know, Caden, Caden's going to be a huge part of it. So, and we've got several players, you know, all around. You get this thing done in the month of June. I know you privately kind of set a date for yourself to, to get this over with. Um, kind of monkey off the back? Absolutely. 100%. It was, it was almost a weight lifted off my shoulders. Break down everybody for everybody the just the stress level that you know of having to deal with phone calls from coaches, phone calls from guys like me, texts from everybody else. I mean, you got direct messages, and then just being a kid. Yeah, um, I'll give you an example. I went, you know, and just took you know a little fishing trip, and you know, just didn't text anybody back, no calls, no nothing for three days. And when I got back, uh, started going through my phone. Between texts and DMs, I had over 120 in three days. Between coaches, media, everybody. So I mean, your it's your phone's always buzzing; it's constant. Well, Hudson, man, we appreciate the time and uh, congratulations. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate you.